we're heading up to what are goes um, what's prime conditions all right so we're gonna be pretty lucky today the sun's out um, we got southeasters forecast and we've got a good little east swell so you want east so it gets in there because what does the south not really get in there the plank face is north so the south's got a wrap right around where if it's east it's coming uh, more square on to the point so hopefully we'll see those lines of swell come straight into the bay um, and then the southeaster will keep it nice and clean why, why is Wadigo such a sick wave? it's basically 2k's of unbroken swell it's pretty gutless hey it's pretty fun yeah no but i mean like <laughs> i mean like for a foil wave like yeah, for a foil foil wave, foil wave i didn't realize how like you know bennett's gets all these sick clips is because the wave i feel like's lost its energy by the time it swings around that point would you agree or you yeah think it's still yeah, kind of yeah definitely i think the um the swell filters out it also cleans up a lot coming around the point yeah um which gives you a nice big canvas i guess to work with all along unbroken swell so it just gives you heaps of opportunities because i feel like that first section at little water goes it like um it breaks like a right hand point break and then it fattens out to that kind of middle bit off the tip of normal water goes that's right you and chase the main peak all yeah, the way down yeah and um so you can do everything from like technical whitewash hits on the point break wave or you can chase it out wide and just like snowboard carve big you can lumps. Definitely get out in some deeper water yeah. and, and find that more kind of open swell. I feel like um, by watching you guys, pretty much the Lift 120 looks like a pretty optimal wing because it can match the speed of the swells, also get tight in the pocket. Um, versus like, I, I like using like the Viper because I feel like you can get really close and in the pocket. But then I've like struggled a little bit with like humping and chasing down, hunting down swells because I feel a little bit too draggy. Yeah. Maybe the wing's not high aspect enough. Yeah, I guess a wing that glides is, is gonna help you out here a lot because you're gonna be able to find those, the next line swell behind you without using up too much energy. Mm. What do you reckon, Luca? What do you ride out there? Um, mainly the 90, just because I like picking up the speed a bit more. But the 90, is that shit to pump or is it sweet? It's alright to pump, you just got to be real onto it, like as in you can't really distance yourself from the swell too much. Like yep. the same before, it gets all gutless. So you got to really try and stay in the pocket as much as possible. Right. I got worse shape in the, uh, in the <laughs> <laughs> Me too, I can feel it. Right. <laughs>
day two of our little water goes trip zane explain how you've tuned your gear today what have you done with your your mask gym done a um instead of front to back shim, it is a heel to toe shim. so which side are you putting the thick end in um the thick end is on my toes so, so what, what you, are you when you turn and lean your back side so your carving side it uh it rolls over easier right yeah and then how thick of a shim have you got to achieve I've got, that i've got two and a half right now wow uh, yes i was riding one and a half and it felt good but i can um two and a half will be a lot easier so i like turn on you know zane's um giving me one as well first time trying it i've done a one and a half shim, same same way. The uh, yeah, exact same. Exact same way as what he just described, and, and not that much um, I, different. To like yeah, that. I didn't I didn't feel any difference in pumping in a straight line then, but then again, I was just filming Zane, so I wasn't really fucking doing any turns to really feel the benefits yeah. of it yet. But what are the benefits that you feel out of it? More drive on your on your uh, bottom turn because it's uh, it's like harder to lean over, so it actually gives you more drive, and then. When you're carving, it's a tighter arc. Yeah, right. So it's kind of just like just the boat belt. Stiff eye is the rocker in the board, so it made it like for me, the rocker in the board makes makes it a lot more of a, a surfier setup feel, and it kind of made my feet stance get closer together as well. Yeah, I think at the yeah. same time, once like we had Rem, the younger kid, like, yeah. he was feeling the same thing. Yeah, he kind of came on when the high aspects were in full swing. Yeah, and it's basically what he learned on. And um, he had a lot to do with the Spitfire as well. Yeah, yeah. And um, it was that same style of, of like really laying it over on rails. I think the Spitfire made the guys do that. Uh, yeah. And just thinning out the tail a lot really meant you could feel the flow a bit more, maybe. Definitely. Yeah, that's um, the, that's actually one thing. The main thing I noticed was the thickness in the tail made it like a lot, you're a lot more connected to the board, and it's like direct feedback when you're turning and. Yeah, just riding. Yeah. So what did you choose today at Water Goes? Foil setup? No, you're, you're bored. I rode the Spitfire 4.4, four, eight and a half, two and a half by 26. Seconds. And what number Spitfire is this now? How many have you gone second. through? This is the second. Second iteration, oh, not iteration, second, just board. I think yeah. really just changed the dimensions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, just shrunk it down a little bit. Feels good. Yeah, I think. I think once we got that design from the start, we haven't really changed it at all. I don't think much needs to be changed. It's kind of that's, that's solid. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people like it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely good for a lot of people. It's, um, it's definitely for the high aspects. Yeah. So a few weeks. What would you say the pros are with the board? Why would you choose this over any other boards in the range? 
for me, it's a more of a surfy feel. Like the rocker in the in the tail is like a massive thing, so it makes it feel like it's a like I ride really front footed, so it's like a positive feel on the front foot. So I have like direct contact when I'm turning, you know. And there's no like lag or like pinch, uh, pinch sensitivity. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully you're not getting caught up in your turns. Yeah. Just with that tail being so pulled in. See you guys bouncing. I reckon a bit of tail for the foam helps a lot. It's yeah, like, a, like a bit of a landing pad, you know, like lean off. Yeah. Yeah. Has the deck got concave in it? The deck is, is relatively flat. Like if you put a straight edge over it, it may have the slightest bit of concave. It's tiny, nothing like the Raptor. Nothing, yeah, I think that, that was another big difference. We flattened out the deck a lot, and I think that helps with the guys with their offset stance. They feel a bit more balanced. Uh, and a flatter deck, that was definitely some feedback I got from a few riders. Yeah. What's next, Zane, if you get another Spitfire? It's going to go narrower. Narrower? I think that's what we're doing, eh? Yeah. 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 And I think it's that's smaller. the trend. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is like 18 and a quarter. I think I, I, I'm going to go down to 17, so take an inch and a bit off. Wow, that's huge. Yeah. So, because like, I don't know, I just feel like my downwind boards are narrow. They're narrower than this, so it just feels natural to go narrow on the, on the uh, front board. Do you feel nice. that your stance won't be as offset? You won't I be able to rip it. I the same, but I just won't be touching down here as much. You know, that won't be hitting the water. That's just, yeah. yeah. So, I think uh, Russ just done that. He went down to 7 Did he? Yeah. 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 It's really like yeah. I wonder, what's it, what does the shape look like? Um, well, we didn't really, we didn't thin out the nose or the tail too much. Yeah. We just made the rails a little more parallel. Yeah. Which I think is going to work. Sick. Just not really much more to take out of the tail. Yeah, no, I reckon. Um, it's just like the wide point up here, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, if you take too much out of the nose, you're just not going to have any volume there. For sure. You've got to put the volume somewhere. Yeah. And that's about essentially that's what it is. It's a so. yeah. yeah. It did change the outline shape a little bit, but I think it was for the better. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. It still looks really nice in the water. Lovely. Good chat, boys. Sorry. I reckon that's it. So what do you what do you like about the Raptor? So I've gravitated to the Raptor purely because I think it paddles better for me than the Spitfire. I find this 
glides through the water better versus the Spitfire because it's so so short and stubby. It feels like um, I'm not really getting momentum when I'm paddling through the wave. It feels like I'm paddling like a bodyboard nearly. That's the feels I get. Yeah. Uh, this just feels a bit more streamlined. Um, I've gone like one inch longer in my Raptor than my Spitfire. But yeah, like the main pros for me with this board is that it paddles better. And when I'm proning like a water goes, that's kind of what I'll, I want to be able to paddle on. It's a bit more of like a surfboard outline. Yeah. 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 And I think um, when we did make the Raptor, that was definitely high in this. Yeah. But like, you still want to paddle really well. Right. And, and um, yeah, with the Spitfire, it was sort of lower on the wrist, I guess, than yeah. the so, yeah, you've I've definitely noticed though, like with the lot of towing I've done with the Spitfire, it does feel more nimble when you're up. Yeah. Like 100%. Yeah. But I feel like this is such a good all rounder. Yeah. yeah. Um, I haven't had to tune it much with mast shims and stuff. So this is like, just put my mast on and just went. Set, okay. yeah, yeah. It was really nice in that sense. Yeah. Um, I've been told that the board looks long on me because my stance is narrow but I haven't found anything with touchdown points or anything like that I think with the next iteration I'd do with this board would maybe go a fraction narrower and maybe just thin it out I reckon I could probably lose a little bit more volume yeah it paddles so well I reckon yeah. I could just yeah take out a, maybe another liter or two yeah it is really nicely balanced the volume's through the board it's very yeah it's really nice. So this is four, five by twenty-six liters, which is pretty much your stop. That's the stop. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, in saying that, I think we'll just increase the stop a little bit. Yeah. Uh, just out of feedback we've had from the long riders. Yeah. Uh, which is only going to help with that paddling as well, just marginally. But yeah, it's very close to stop. Do you feel like there's a a point in time where you've taken so much liters out of it where the board's not stiff? Um, well, I guess if we ever do that, it's it's generally for a purpose. So it's either the kite guys or the tow guys, and we compensate and we put an extra layer of kite yeah. So I haven't had any feedback like that yet. Um, the way we build the boards, obviously 100% carbon and vacuum. Yep. I don't think we can get them any. Because, like, I reckon if the shape stays the same, but you take out a little bit more thickness, Maybe there'll be like a better connection with the foil, with the feel. Yeah, yeah. But it, like the, the board paddles so well that I feel like you can you can take out the few liters. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. That's the only thing that I've kind of yeah for the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I don't know. I kind of like. Um, I really love this concave deck. I feel like it's a really good kind of platform to push against. I love that. I love that feel. Um, yeah, I've always been a huge fan of it. It just gives you that sunken in feel, feel a little more. Yeah. A bit more locked in, hey? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of replicating a mast ship, right? Because you've got an edge to stand on. Yeah. Like yeah. a toe to heel mast ship. Locks you in, yeah. 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 I know this is your model, Zane. Why are you now on the Spitfire and on your own model? Well, when we did it, I was riding Go Fall. Ah. So it's a lot more front foot. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it, yeah, just a lot more front foot, and the boxes are, are flat, they're per, uh, parallel, yeah. Open, yeah. yeah. So, with lift, I just more I like more rocker because it creates the front foot feel. Because when I was riding lift on that, it just felt really back footed, okay. So, yeah, that was the only reason, yeah, yeah, right. And my stance, I was like you, like real far back and close together, and okay. the board looked really long, right. yeah, but it still felt good. I haven't felt yeah. any touchdown points, hey. Did you feel that with this? Did you feel like rails were catching or anything? Nah. Yeah, me nah. I, I, I reckon the, the Raptor uh, glances off the water better because of the, the V in the bottom. It's not a, yeah, I reckon it, it touches down better and pops out. doesn't have as much drag. Um, and just the outline, it was, it's a good outline. Yeah. Like, real surfy feel. Yeah. Just yeah, like more of a like surfboard, the, yeah. Like, aesthetically, I like the look of a board that doesn't look like a, a Mackin's tray. <laughs> I, I, Fully, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm like, aesthetics is good. Like the board of that size makes it look like surfing versus boiling. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Like, I don't know. It, like, it looks like a circle going off the lip or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, a lot of the guys riding my boards, they all mainly come from a short board background. Yeah. And I think we all just gravitate yeah. to that style. Definitely. Yeah. 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 I agree. How are you all, I reckon? <laughs> go, go, go.